it's Storm Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have for us another unbox, not unboxing, this time it's from Knit Crate, and I have my monthly Mary Maxim uh, Crochet of the Month. So what I wanted to talk to you about too is about uh, a little bit about Knit Crate. Now I'm not paid by Knit Crate or anything, I'm not affiliated with, by them, but um, they just started this new uh, stash membership. It's where you don't have to buy a monthly crate. Um, it starts at $30 a month, and you just uh, buy stash membership points. And then you can go in and you can buy um, whatever yarn that you want at the membership prices, which is pretty good because you get some really good prices, and you also um, get to use the double down code, which is the additional discounts that members get who have the um, monthly crates. They still have their knit and crochet crate, which is the two skeins a month, um, the different colorways, or the uh, sock crate. They still have that, and they also have this single uh, skein crate, um, where you just get one uh, skein of yarn a month um, of any of one of the colorways. You can pick your colorway, or you can get the anything goes. I will put a link in the description box below to Knit Crate so you can go check out um, all the different uh, new crates that they have all the and the prices and everything if you're interested in Knit Crate. Um, I'm going to show you the yarn that I got and then I'll show you my Mary Maxim uh, Crochet of the Month Club. So let's put the notes down there and let's get into the yarn. So this is, they had this big sale and where you buy so much yarn in and you get a really good discount on it. So I got all of this yarn in this bag right here for like $60 with the shipping. So that was an awesome, awesome price. They do this like once or twice a year. They do these really, really big sales and you get a really good price on the yarn. So let me just get this open. I don't want to be careful so I don't cut any of my yarn. Dean Wool's Mellow. Now this one is called High and Dry. It is an 80% alpaca, 20% tinsel. This is a bulky white yarn, 125 yards, hand washed on uh, gentle, lay flat to dry, and it's 125 yards. I got two skeins of each color that I got, so this is like a nice greenish gray color. It's really, really pretty. This was in the crate too for September. It's very pretty. And I'm just gonna kind of smooth the scissors and my pen. I'm gonna stack it over here. Next one, another Audine Wools. Audine Wools Bloom, and this is called. Nostrum is the color. Again, 80% alpaca wool, 10% silk, 10% camel. This is a DK weight, 231 yards, 100 grams. This is a hand wash gentle, lay flat to dry. And this one comes from Peru. And let's see, where did this one come from? This one came from Peru too. This yarn is a chainette yarn. If you're not sure what that means, it's like it's braided. It looks like it's braided. This is a really like pretty brick red, nice and fluffy. It looks really like almost like a bulky, but it's actually a DK weight. But very pretty red. Just love it. It's so pretty. And next we have Vitalana. Um, Ascendants, and this one is 100% Peruvian Highland Wool, obviously comes from Peru, and this is a sport weight, another chainette yarn, 
and 328 yards. Again, I got two of these. And these are nice and soft yarns. This is a beautiful color. It's called limestone, a nice cream color. Very soft. I love these colors too. They're nice and soft and squishy. This is super super squishy. This is the same type, the Vitalanda Ascendance. Um, everything's the same, the 100% Peruvian Highland wool, um, 328 yards, hand wash, uh, and hand wash gentle, lay flat to dry, and the color is called Fatigue Green. And there's another one in here. There was a third color for this that came in the crate, and I have that color too. I believe it's like a blue. This is, I love this green color. So I think these two colors definitely go really nice together. I think it would make like a nice scarf or maybe even a, a shawl. But. One fell on the floor. Sorry about the crinkling of the bag. Um, next we have Audine Wool's Chill, and this is called A Little Cabinectomy. This is a 90% Sura Alpaca, 10% Cashmere. It is a worsted weight, 150 yards, again, hand wash, gentle, lay flat to dry. And again, it is made in Peru. And this is kind of like a brownish um, gray. Very pretty. This is super, super soft. Very, very soft. I like this one. This, I think I will make some type of a scarf or a cowl with because this is definitely something you can put up next to your face. I, lo I, I know some a lot of people are can be allergic to alpaca. I'm not, and I love alpaca yarn and a little uh, tidbit about alpaca. It's got kind of a water resistant um, component to it, so if it gets wet, you'll still stay warm with it. So very nice, I love this cover. Stay there, stay, stay. Okay, another Vitalana, Vitalana Celestial. And this is called De Demos, Demos, D-E-I-M-O-S. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is 90% alpaca, 10% tinsel. It is an air and weight yarn. Again, hand wash, gentle, lay flat to dry. Uh, comes from Peru. A lot of their yarns come from Peru. And 150 yards. And I guess that's the color. But this is kind of a pinky color. This is super pretty. Like a pinky clay color. Very pretty again with that alpaca. It's so soft and you can see like the, the halo from the alpaca. Very, very nice. And where's our next one? I get the matching one for this one. Okay, so uh, Vitalana Oasis, and this is called Tuscany. It is a 50% alpaca wool, 25% Peruvian Highland merino uh, wool blend, and 25% Surrey alpaca. This is a DK weight, 252 yards, hand wash, gentle. Lay flat to dry. Again, comes from Peru. And this is kind of like a bricky red. Can you get the kind of thing, a kind of like reddish, reddish, purplish colors? I mean, I do love purple. Purple's my favorite color, but this is kind of a bricky color. Kind of like those muted colors. Very soft again. That's that alpaca.
And these are the last two. And this is called Audine's Flannel. And it's called Buffalo. And it is a 47% Siri Alpaca, 38% Alpaca Wool, and 15% Non-Superwash Merino Wool. Again, hand wash, delicate, lay flat to dry. The crate that came, the the crate that matched this one, had a um, like a charcoal color that went was one of the other colors that went with this. So I thought it would look really nice if I got the matching um, brick color that went with it. So I thought this was really cool. So now I have both colors, and I thought that would make like do like a checkerboard hat or checkerboard scarf with it but I love that color. So that is the Knit Crate stash that I got. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these back in the bag. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of winding on my ball winder with these to get these all wound up into cakes. And I'll be doing some for patterns, maybe making up some of my own for these too. But so that I thought was a super good deal. And then here is my Mary Matthew for the month. I did open this already, but I, I was so excited when I got it. This is one that I have got. It's, it's a very pretty pattern. Here's the pattern, I'll take it out of the package. This is a yarn that I've never used before, so I was really super excited when I, when I opened it. But it's got a super cool looking pattern. It's a asymmetrical wrap or scarf. So it looks really cool. And this is the yarn, it's called Queensland Collection Suncoast. The color is Aussie Swan. The yarn is a superwash merino bamboo blend. 70% wool and 30% bamboo fibers. It's pink and green and some cream. Very, very pretty. Like the colors. You get three of these and it is a lightweight number three. 290 yards. It's a 3.52 ounce cake, 100 grams, 266 meters. It's really soft. I've never used a bamboo blend yarn before, so I'm kind of excited to use this. And I've never uh, used this brand before, so I was really excited when I, when I got it. And you get three of them in this. And the pattern is pretty cool. I like the pattern. So I will also put a link in the description box to Mary Maxim. I think they did a really good job on this one this month. Um, if you like surprise packages, you can sign up for Mary Maxim. It is, uh, I believe, let me check my notes here, make sure I'm telling you the right price, because I've been doing Mary Maxim for years. It is $16.99 and $4.99 for shipping, so $21.99 a month. And just like, you know, any of your uh, subscription uh, package, you know, package pro, uh, things, crochet of the month clubs, some months are going to be great, some months are not going to be so great. This month, I think, is super great. I really like this one. So there is my yarn, Knit Crate Yarn Haul and my Mary Maxim uh, Crochet of the Month Club. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And happy crocheting. Bye-bye.